free into a wood chipper. Maybe that sounds better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Send him to Fargo. Wow. Um, wow. Oh. And I like Florida. Don't get me wrong. I mean, Florida does it better than a lot of places, but goddamn. Nah, they got that. Bunch but you of know, people s- over there. S- sometimes the crimes ain't prosecutable because people know and they won't come forward. That's true. So they have no witnesses. The news for Jack's hot. Here we go. Here go one right here. Here, check this one out. This is a doozy. <laughs> The News for Jack's High team got a major update in a Jacksonville Beach murder mystery. Police have arrested a man they say was involved in the ambush of a father of four last February. 33-year-old Jared Bridegan was shot and killed as his two-year-old daughter was in his SUV. Nearly a year after Bridegan's murder, police announced 61-year-old Henry Tenen is now charged with murder. Conspiracy. 61. Killed that fucking guy. So man. I was reading about this story earlier. He put a tire in front of the guy as he was pulling off from his ex-wife's house or something like that. And they're saying, oh, because the guy put a tire in the road so that he could rob, you know, carjack yeah. him and kill him. That must mean the ex-wife put him up to do it. Like, oh. uh, yeah, there's no way the sun man just, you know, yeah. threw a tire out there and decided to kill him in the commission of a petty crime because that never happens. Yeah. Announced 61 year old Henry Tenen is now charged with murder, conspiracy to commit murder, and child abuse. Investigators call the attack on Bridegan targeted. News for Jack's IE team's Vic Michelucci has been on this case since the night it happened and joins us live with the concerning connection, Vic, between the suspect and someone in Bridegan's past. And since very early on, detectives have told me this is not a random murder. This case has gotten national attention. And today people are asking, what is the connection with the man arrested by Jacksonville Beach Police and Jared Bridegan? We did some digging and found some disturbing details linking him to Jared Bridegan's ex-wife's new husband. Oh, wow. Nearly a year after the mysterious shooting of Jared Bridegan, investigators have arrested a suspect. He was gunned down in cold blood. Nothing was stolen from him. His two-year-old daughter remained strapped in the car seat in the back. This was a planned and targeted ambush and murder. As Bridegan's widow and siblings stood by, Jacksonville Beach Police Chief Gene Paul Smith and State Attorney Melissa Nelson revealing murder and other charges against 61-year-old Henry Tennant. He'd been in custody on unrelated charges since an August arrest in Jacksonville. Prosecutors not releasing many details, but telling us they know Tennant did mean? not act alone. In- so, I don't know, maybe. Like, maybe I'm, you know, they, they could be here. There's definitely some weird shit going on. It's like he, he was renting a house from the ex-wife and the, her husband. But so I, think, I feel like it's an equal chance that he just did this shit because he felt like doing it, you know? I I, I mean, he might have been put up to it. Like, the, the, the ex-husband is mad at the, you know, the, the dueling lovers and shit. Could I don't be. know. In order to protect the integrity of this ongoing an active investigation, the state has obtained a court order sealing Tenen's arrest warrant and affidavit for the next 30 days. Questions about Jared Bridegan's ex-wife, Shauna Gardner-Fernandez, and her new husband, Mario Fernandez, continue. Bridegan had just dropped off his older two children at their house when he was shot on a dark stretch of Sanctuary Boulevard, stopping to remove a tire likely planted in the road. Right now, we're in northwest Jacksonville, about 25 miles away from the scene of the shooting in Jacksonville Beach. However, this home behind me is critical for the investigation. We at the News for Jack's I team uncovered records showing that Henry Tenen used to live here. And the former owner was Mario Fernandez. That's right. The I team uncovered property records linking the two together, wow. making Fernandez the landlord and Tenen the renter at the time of the murder. Neither has been charged or named as a suspect, but the I-team has confirmed Shauna moved to Washington State with her kids. Sources believe Fernandez is still in Florida. Their attorney has not returned a call for comment today. This blue Ford F-150 pickup truck was a big part of the investigation. Police continually asking for information about it. 
Detectives thankful for the hundreds of tips that they've already received. Thank you again to everyone who stepped up. It was very helpful. We hope to have more answers to provide to you, even if not, it cannot be today. Okay, I thought the house that he rented from the guy was in the neighborhood where that guy was killed. I didn't know it was uh, in another area. And investigators are making it very clear tonight. This case is not closed. It is not solved. They still need the public to come forward with information about the people involved in Jared Bridegan's murder. I did check with First Coast Crime Stoppers. They do still have $50,000 on the table for reward for anyone with information leading to an arrest. There's an additional $5,000 from the ATF for information leading to an arrest and conviction. We're live in Jacksonville Beach. I'm Vic Nicolucci, Channel 4, the local station. Vic, you visited the home that Fernandez owns where Tenen lived. What did you find there? We learned a lot. And when I knocked on the door, someone came out. He was Tenen's roommate, said that he knew that his roommate had been in jail. He didn't know the circumstances, but he said that the home had been raided by police and ATF federal agents. Then I asked that man what vehicle Tenen used to drive. He said he had two cars, one of them a dark blue Ford F-150. If you remember, that matches the description of that vehicle that police put out. We'll have much more in it. Hey. Wow, man. Jared, brilliant. Jared, man, brilliant. You see man. a fucking tire in the road, man. Just yeah. <laughs> you drive around that shit. Exactly, man. Exactly, man. Just drive over that shit. Don't do not get out. <laughs> um, whew, that's crazy, man. Um, okay. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, I'm uh, I'm about to knock out, man. I'll catch you. All right, up. man. You take it easy, man. Peace, peace out. out. Good stream, guys. Good stream. Stay peace safe. Out. Peace. God bless. Okay, here we go. Here go one. Oh uh, yeah, this one got some attention. Oh, he's trying to get his. Oh, get the shit. fuck up my way. That killed that guy? Yeah, he died later. Oh, oh yeah, it doesn't take long. Yeah, it doesn't take long. He probably broke his hip, broke his femur. He probably broke his femur right here. Or was that the fibula? Which one is the big bone in the thigh? Is that the fibula or the femur? I think that's the femur. femur. Yeah. So he femur. probably broke his femur because they, they, they when they fall, when they this age and they fall, they always break something. Look what he grabs. And that, that could have caused internal bleeding right there. This is a big artery right there. Yeah, he tried to stop him while he was stealing some shit. Yeah. To 26, you go to jail for first degree murder and robbery for, for pushing a cart out of Home Depot. <laughs> he thugged out, man. When you hit the cell block, you the thug here. <laughs> but he's still a bunch of drills. These are DeWalt, DeWitt. Oh, no, those are, those are, um, Ryobi. Is that 